Hello, Internet. Clef here once again, recording part three of my Half-Life 2, episode two, Blind Let's Play. I'm going to uh, <laughs> go ahead and say that I'm kind of aware that, you know, some of my little monologues at the front or back end some of some of these parts have been kind of clumsy sounding. I bet like I feel a little clumsy during them, but hey, that's what happens when you have no script. Better get moving. And here's it going. Follow the fort. Seriously, Freeman, you need to get going. All right, don't rush me. I'm speaking Follow. to my audience. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no script, so I'm just kind of like going off the cuff all the time, so it's not going to sound great every time. <laughs> I might stutter or whatever. But that's what happens when you're doing a blind let's play. Oh, so I'm kind of, you know, I get one take. <laughs> and that's okay with me, you know, I don't mind. Oh, you are a useful guy. I'm gonna like being with this guy. This body is yours to command. Lead on. Oh. We fucking later? Alright. That's <laughs> just sounded like a very unusual thing to say. Well, I guess I don't need the health, so uh I don't gotta pop him. Hmm. Wow. Got much darker. That lit up again. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Are those really footprints? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I like how when I hit the web, the gravity gun just kind of opens. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the quote-unquote doors in Jabu Jabu's belly in uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. They just kind of like open up magically. What, I headbutt it and it just died? Guess this for some extra. Okay, so these things just like spontaneously die. Fuck them up. Them, oh. I have to see. Oh, I see. Hey, you weren't just disabling them before. Oh, take care. Disable that. That's what I want you to disable. Whoa, did you kill it? Oh. Oh, is that the trick? Maybe if I flip them over the gravity gun shot, then I can... Maybe I one hit kill them on their underbelly. Which kind of makes sense. Wait. Yeah, that's how... Where are you? What? Oh! Whoa! Did he teleport up here? Or what happened there? Yeah, that was one hit. That was from a decent range, too. Hmm. Very interesting. Do I go down? I guess I go down. No. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, let's... Oh, wait, hold on. Alright, no. They they have that. Man, I thought it was going to be like really context sensitive and really cool. Overestimated the game. Seriously. Grim Pinata? How in the hell do you know what a pinata is? Does that work? I want to waste ammo. Come 
Come on. Let's go. Oh. I didn't think. You oh, yeah, these things are dangerous. Let's see if he says a grim pinata again. Pinata. pinata. Look at this. Look at this guy over here. He's aware of us already. Oh god. Wow, 99 health and 9 suit. That didn't hurt much. All right. Huh. When they're turned over, it looks like one hit from anything will kill them. Because one SMG bullet is about the weakest thing in the game. Possibly weaker than a pistol bullet. They might have it. the same animal, but... Uh, Vortigaunt guy. Beware of the acidites. Their corrosive spray emits quick carbon of rock passages. But it also serves as a strong deterrent to hide robbers like ourselves. I noticed. Grim Pinata. Magnum bullets. Makes perfect sense. Oh, you missed. Why does it seem like these things lost? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, why does it seem like the antlions lost their ability to jump? And they didn't. Ow. Yeah. Once they get turned over, one shot of anything will kill them. I figured it out. That's gonna come in handy. That's just about confirmed now. Oh god. I'm alive. Hey buddy, I don't even know where you came from. Oh! Take care of that, would you? Naturally. Disable! Well, those you just kill, but... Twenty-eight. Uh, oh, okay. I just got poisoned. Well, still thirty-nine is not great. <laughs> oh, I'm actually almost out of ammo for this. I gotta be more careful. Maybe I use. Oh. Go. You go. Go. Your suit shows signs of special. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Quick switch to the pistol. Tell me 
your secrets. Oh, maybe they give a random amount of health. We have the shotgun ready. It's about to it's about to get real. Let me guess, I'm getting separated from this guy? No, I can climb back out. Oh, I actually can't fully dislodge these. <laughs> That's convenient. Okay. I fell down there. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. That makes me look better. <laughs> Give me your nugget of life. Scared me. Hey, do you react to light? He doesn't give a shit. I'm starting to feel kind of bad about stomping these things. <laughs> so, uh... No doubt, in my mind... Yeah. Telegraphed. Wanna finish this guy off? Just open, god damn it. Alright. Oh. There's this. Ooh, I didn't even notice that guy. I bet the Vortigon thinks I noticed him. <laughs> Why am I worried about my reputation in this Vortigon's eyes? I am confident the Freeman will find a way to open that gate so that we may proceed Yeah. Oh. You. Are awesome. Let's bury him. Oh. You don't mind this, do you? Alright. Uh... Oh, god damn it. Oh, no wonder they didn't break. Great, that's what I have a reputation. <laughs> really? <laughs> Alright, buddy. Well, no, I want that. That's a weapon. Let's get more heavy shit. Hey. <laughs> oh, why do I feel like I fucked this up? Like I was supposed to go down like on it. Oh boy. Oh. Safe drop? Safe drop possible? Oh, baby. But now I'm alone. Pop! Oh, you gotta be. Go! Okay, what? Since when does it- oh crap. Since when does a shotgun blast to the face not take out the normal, uh, zombies? The fuck is that? Aha. And aha. Flashlight. Hey, buddy. Okay. That's a very odd room construction, but okay. Ammo. Alright, so I'm gonna wanna weigh this down to... 
Naturally. Oh look, there's health. Which I don't need. Well, let's grab it. Okay. Just pluck it out. Um, do I have weight for this? Well, I can carry the stuff that's on the other thing. I know there was some stuff lying around like this is heavy, right? Wait. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Can I go down there? What's this attached to? Oh, hold on. Should I be trying to, like... Yeah, I want to... <laughs> yeah, hush. You're freaking me out. Okay, this looks like it's broken. But it can be fixed. Hmm. Oh, is that a control panel? Well, that was anticlimactic. Now, am I meant to try to get on it? <laughs> Oops. Hmm. Maybe if I put weight on it, it won't go up. Despite the lever. And then I can take stuff off. When I get on. No rolling. Okay. Who said that? <laughs> oh! Big piece of rebar. Well, anyway, let's see if this makes any difference. Can I break this? No. Maybe all I have to do is send that up, and then come back up on this. I'm afraid that I won't be able to get this to go back down again. Freeman! Hmm. Is that what I just sent up? I gotta get up there myself. Hopefully there's enough heavy shit still lying around that I can push it back down again. Okay, good.
Goodbye, we. Oh, I'm getting that stuck feeling. <laughs> that sinking feeling. No pun intended. If this goes up without me, I'm kind of screwed. Okay. So, how... Do I get this? First, let's pull it back down. Maybe the gravity gun can manipulate it while I'm on it? No. That's just a thing. Oh, there's no doubt I'm missing something obvious. God damn it. <laughs> Try to race it. something down here of interest. No. Damn it. Oh man, I've been able to avoid looking up the solutions to puzzles online so far. I want to keep that going. <laughs> Why can't I pull it? <laughs> Should be able to. This is a small area. Maybe this big piece of rebar can come in handy. Now it seems like it's so unwieldy to even bring anywhere. No, there's no way. That's what's making all that racket. Uh, well, you know what? If minute 30 comes and I still have no idea, then I will ask my fans to help me. <laughs> Both of you. No. I know I've got like, <laughs> like four people watching this now. That's okay. Whoa. Ooh. That's kinda cool. I just hopped up on this. Come on, I ought to be able to pull that shit up. Okay, what if... I, wait a minute. I think I do need that fucking rebar. Uh, how am I gonna get, get out of here, though? I think I need to stick it in the gears. It's like that's the only way I can think of to keep it from going up. Even all right. E okay. Can I stick it? 
Maybe I need to put something smaller in there. Maybe this. That's thicker. It's smaller, but it's thicker. Oh, you know what? I think I know where to put this. No? I feel like I'm on the right track, though. There's this cord here. with the mechanism somehow. Well, what if I just put this... What if I just line this up in a way that it can't easily go up? Oh, you know what? What if I do that? I have an idea. Because this is pretty long. What if I put it across the whole thing such that it can't go up because the passage is too narrow. If I do that, will it stop? Okay. It does stop, but I still can't get on it. I definitely feel like I'm on the right track, though. Wait. Can I climb up this? Yeah, I want to hold it up. Oh. Yeah, I kind of want it like that. I want to set it up in a way to stand it up. Oh, no. So I think just putting weight on it isn't enough. Well, if I do this, it just pulls it off. I think. Well, let's see. Let's just make sure, because if that <laughs> if that's going to be upset. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. It's getting up to about minute 29. I'm going to try a little bit more, and if I don't come across it, then maybe I'll just ask the people who watch this, am I on the right track? Do I have the right idea? Or am I completely wrong? Because if I'm completely wrong, then I'm just wasting my time, right? But how can I stop this from rising at all? Let's, let me look at something here. This beam here. Let's get this up above. What happens if I do that? Let's just see what happens.
what if... <laughs> I physically prevent this. I probably can't do this, but... Diagonally. That's probably like even easier. I just kind of go like this. Well, anyway, that works. Um, okay, I'm going to call this the end of the part. And just tell me if I'm on the right track. I guess I'm going to... I mean, I, I was recording parts in a row, but I guess I'm done. Because I don't... I really don't want to look for solutions online. And if, if someone just wants to kind of give me a hint or something... Or, I don't know, maybe I'll just keep trying a bit longer. Ugh, this is driving me insane. Alright, I'm just going to stop recording. Go ahead. And, you know what? I'm just going to look up how to do it. So I can get on with my life. Because this is, this is not going to be entertaining. I will admit defeat here. I probably missed something stupidly obvious. But, yeah. This is the end of part three. I'm really sad. <laughs> But hey, I was expecting to get stuck a lot, and I only got stuck this once, truly. So, even sometimes where I broke the game, like I made that big leap of faith in Ravenholm that I was never supposed to make. So, that's it for part three. I hope I haven't disappointed my audience <laughs> too much. That you'll still click that thumbs up, and subscribe, if you're watching this and you haven't already. And tell your friends if, uh, even if for no other reason than to say, hey, look at this uh, idi idiot who can't figure out this simple puzzle. Because I can't figure it out. I tried for like 10 minutes. I guess 10 minutes is not that long, but uh, anyway, I'm defeated. I'm going to go slink away in shame. And I, oh, did I even save the game? Like, my brains are completely scrambled. Yeah, I'll just save again if I didn't. And uh, that's part three. I'll see you in part four, at which point I will have looked up the solution, <laughs> and I will continue. See you then.